where's you know, we talked earlier with the panel with a lot of agencies about price, pre about what they're being asked to do more with less, right? So that, follow the, the metaphor of rolling downhill, right? So that means they're going to be asking media vendors or platforms and everybody else to do more with less and they're going to yep. put price pressure in place, yep. right? Uh, I mean, how, where's the fail point here? Like, where's the system just break because it can't go any lower than it's gone? Yeah, I mean, we see that a lot. We spend a lot of time with agencies and advertisers talking about trade-offs. And, and we get a lot of RFPs or, or kind of information requests. Can we buy um, pre-roll and only on target audiences and only viewable at, at $10 CPMs? And we go, no, of, of course you can't. And they go, well, I can get it over here. And we said, well, let us walk you through the math and, and why that's, that's not possible. And too often you hear, look, you can either do it or you can't. Um, and so th that does have to change. I mean, fraud is ultimately, you know, we're, we're collectively the, the ones that, that buy it. There's unnatural price pressure. But the thing about price pressure is often, if the advertiser spent just a little bit more, the quality goes up, the effective pricing goes down. Yeah, well, the, and it goes back to the fact that, you know, and again, we're confining the conversation to video, but if we take the step back holistically of digital, the main difference between display and video is liquidity, right? And that, and That's it's right. also why the reasons that programmatic platforms matured at the pace they did in, on both sides of that, you know, the coin are for different reasons, yeah. right? So I get scared when we, when I read numbers in the Atlantic about 61.5% of web traffic being non-human, and we're already at such a substantial shortage of of uh, you know of premium video, if you eliminate let's say 50% of that available inventory, what's that impact on eCPM? And th does that do we price ourselves out of the market? Right. Yeah, I, I think those numbers are overblown. The other great thing about programmatic, it enables marketers to do what what they're supposed to do and test. Yeah. So they can set up kind of one line item or placement, and and buy lower cost inventory and test that versus higher cost inventory and see what works for them and, and iterate. And, and that's the, the power of kind of software-based marketing. Yeah. So. Thanks, Brett. Thank you.